Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to day two. Yeah. Our first sea day on the Carnival Panorama. Mm -hmm. Panorama. Yeah, Panorama. Why is that so hard for me to say? I have no idea. All right, so we went to sleep and we woke up. Now, since we're normally in central time, I keep waking up at the time I wake up every single day. So today I woke up at bright and shiny at 3.45 in the morning. Which I woke up a little earlier than that. Because we that's what time we get up is 5.45, 6 ish. So this is gonna be an adjustment for us. And then we, I was like, I think we booked one of the Carnival Kitchen classes and I'm not seeing it anywhere on our itinerary. So I went and looked, I can't find it anywhere. So I found the receipt. So this morning we're gonna go to guest services before it gets busy and see like how that works because we already paid for it and we're not, the app is not showing us anything about it. Yeah. So we're gonna figure that out and then we're gonna go on our walk. Mm -hmm. We might go to the gym for a little bit and then we're gonna have blue iguana mm -hmm. and trivia. Lots of trivia. So I don't know, you know, trivia is kind of hard for us to record, but we will show you Blue Iguana, get the same thing I always get. So, I mean, it gets a little bit repetitive, but maybe we'll, if, maybe if no one's in the gym, we'll show you some of the gym. Mm -hmm. um, Carnival's gyms usually are pretty small. So, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. And usually gyms are fuller towards the beginning of your cruise and then taper off. Yeah, but we've never cruise. cruised out of California true, before. maybe way more different here. Yeah, so, all right. Well, let's go see what guest services says so we can tell you guys what to do if you purchase the Carnival Kitchen before your cruise and it's not showing up anywhere. Okay, all right, come on, let's go to guest services. Come on. All right, guys, so we just went outside and there was this paperwork on our door. So look at that. We didn't even have to go to guest services. So it's, we'll say Carnival Kitchen on it. And then it's a tailgate party. And then it tells you when and how to meet. And then it tells you like if you're not feeling well that you need to let them know. And then there's a $25 fee per person for cancellations. It also included um, health questionnaires. So you have to fill out these health questionnaires before you go. But yeah. All right, so that answered our question. So we're good. All right, so we don't, have need to, we don't even need to go to guest services. And now you won't either because you'll know. All right, we're still gonna go walk and go to the gym and eat a blue iguana. None of that's changed. Yeah. All right, talk to you guys later. So if you guys want a calm and peaceful time on the ship, mornings, mornings are that nothing's open. And because we're on deck five now, just walking around. It's only because I can't make it up 12 flights of stairs, so we had to take a break. Well, I mean, I also can't make it up 12 flights of stairs. That's a lot of stairs. But, the casino, the glass to keep the smoke out of the casino from the casino. Your bonsai over here. An alchemy bar. Good morning. Good morning. the pseudo tour uh you got the pixels photo gallery this kind of desk there's multiple pixel locations on the ship if you guys need to go to the midship elevators you can go straight through here yeah right in between pixels and there there's restrooms go. over there too and the panorama has a dinner option for the pig and anchor yeah that is not included here's the menu And you also have a lot of live music in here, and they also sometimes do karaoke. But if you look, look at this tech, guys. Can you see it? Trash can nachos and the dragon chili cheese fries. I think we're gonna have to come here and get those. Yeah, okay. Let's keep going. Uh, 
That's some early rising. That's some, the Pixel, like the Dream Studio, if you want to get your pictures done professionally. It may be at, you know, a uh, formal day. I'm oh, sorry. But, uh, we usually do that around formal day. You would get your pictures done up. Now in the morning, there's also, there's always the Java Blue coffee, but they also can do coffee over here, right next to Ocean Plaza. So yeah. if you if that line's really long, check this one out. And then there's one other place you can do coffee on the Vistaclass ships, and that's going to be in the Havana area at the bar. So you go all the way in here, and all the way back. And we, we we're not going to go all the way back, but there's a bar back there, and you can get your coffee. Yep. Yep, so that's the three spots you can get espresso coffee drinks on the Carnival Panorama. Okay, we got some more flights at least to go. Five more flights to go, so let's go. So we are in our jackets because I think it's gonna be like fifty five degrees outside with us going like twenty something miles an hour. We think that's probably gonna be cold. Um but the stairwells are pretty warm. So, be aware of that, that if you're traveling to Star Wars, you may, I uh, don't my fan, <laughs> something, almost oh, fell. Okay, I'll see you when we get up there. I think this, this is the adult pool here. Like I said, no one's out here. It's early morning. Now I gotta go find a Jordan. Oh, there she goes. Okay, I gotta go up another deck. You can go ahead and keep going. I'll catch up, my dear. Hello. So we're doing our laps. Uh, PSA announcement. It could be wet out here, so be very, very careful. They try to squeeze you as much as they possible, but. Yeah, just make sure you have on like some shoes and some good traction if it's wet. Yeah. You know, we don't want you to fall day yeah, yeah. one and then not be able to walk the rest of the cruise. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just be careful out here because most of the time they'll go through rain when it's dark because no one's out. So they try to miss the rain. In the daylight. So sorry. Yeah, and don't trip your partner. Tip again, number two for you. Okay. Talk to you guys later. It's because I don't like wet. So we're at the Early Risers Buffet, and this is an idea of what you can get at 6.30. Right? We're in Ocean Plaza, where we live. So yeah, so we I got some coffee. And we're just waiting for coloring and then trivia. Yeah. And then I'm going to show you our breakfasts right here. All right, you saw them. Okay, I got the same thing I get every single time. Yeah. So we're going to show you what Ocean Plaza looks like. So something weird is happening today yeah. because of like, I guess daylight savings time. Yeah, it was last night. Yeah, because it's the fourth. But no one now. said anything, so we we don't we haven't known what time it was all morning. We thought we were an hour earlier than we were, which actually mm -hmm. worked out better for us the way yeah. it worked out. So this is good. So we could eat faster, but yeah, 
because we got to go to Blue Lagoon and get breakfast. But like everyone's really confused on what time it is. One of the employees said that like their like system that they use to tell them like how long they can sleep and stuff. That was wow. telling them they could sleep longer than they actually could. And she was like, that doesn't make any sense. But there's not that many hours in the day. Mm -hmm. And ship times off. Yeah, and even, our like, even off. on the app. So and like there haven't been any announcements or anything about it. So like I'm thinking people are, are either someone told that someone said something or they're just walking around thinking that it's like an hour earlier than it actually is. So I don't know. Um, that's the first time we've had that happen. Usually always the ship's time will update and then yeah. you just go off that on the app. But this time it's not the case. So we just came to Ocean Plaza to get a table and then there's supposed to be coloring and then there's general trivia and there's a whole bunch. So the welcome aboard show is today too. So we're gonna hit that at 10.30, yeah. see if we can win something. Yeah, lots okay. of prizes, go yeah. there if you want to. Yeah, so they always give away prizes. So we always go, we've never won something but we've got within one digit of winning. Yeah. That's pretty cool. But yeah, um, also, so in the mornings, I think I was telling you guys that the Java Blue and the Ocean Bar, Ocean Plaza Bar, are supposed to have the espresso drinks as well as the Havana Bar. But I went back there this morning. It didn't look there was anyone back there yet. I don't know if that's because of the time snafu or what, but I'll keep you guys posted if they are actually open in the morning. So mm -hmm. um, more to come on that, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well, we will show you what the coloring is all about because I don't really know yeah. if we're just going to... I like coloring too, that way. It's fine. Yeah, we're just going to color. So, all right, we'll talk to you guys soon. Hello oh, there. We have a visitor. Yeah, look at this, guys. You have a little bear. A bear. Look, it's a bear. I bet Sue would be jealous. We can't let him see this video. He'd be way too jealous. Mm hmm. Yeah, you guys probably can't see it too well because it's backlit, but. We're going pretty slow right now. Last night we were moving, but. Yeah, but it looks pretty, pretty rough now. though out there. Yeah, it's swelling pretty good. So, Hi there. what have we been up to? Well, we did some uh, trivias. Uh -huh. I think we've done three so far, or four? Three? Four, I think. Four. Yeah. Four. Carmel has tons of, of trivia, so if you like trivia, I would definitely try a Carmel trivia. Yep, so we've done a lot of trivia. Mm -hmm. And if you guys have been viewers of this channel for long you know that there's not much in this world that I wouldn't do for a ship on a stick yeah and we won one yeah and I actually helped win it I got one too so our friends that we're cruising with they're very good at trivia yes <laughs> and we got a ship on a stick and I'm just so excited I don't think So now I have one for every ship we've sailed on with Carnival, except for the business. So and they didn't have, they only had a limited amount. So yeah. we won a few trivias. It's just, we haven't got uh, ship, uh, things on a stringy, which actually we did also win another thing on a stringy. Yeah, so we're doing pretty good. We're doing yeah. pretty good on trivia. But I got my ship on a stick and I'm so excited. So now I've got my spirit jersey, mm -hmm. my mug, and my ship on a stick from Hammer. So I have everything that I ever could want or need that says Carnival Panorama on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited. Yeah. So, we... Where are we going? We're gonna, I think we're going to go to Guy's Burger, yeah? Yeah. If I was wanting a salad mm -hmm. and french fries. And... I um, want a burger. Yeah. I'll probably get a burger, too. I'm not sure. Maybe I won't get it with the bun. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe I will. I don't know. The french fries sound really good, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, that's what we're off to do. And then we have some more trivia this afternoon. Mm-hmm. All trivia all day, every day. All right, we'll see you guys later. All right, so if you guys have never been on the Carnival Panorama, they have a different elevator operating system. So on the, the pad here, you're gonna select the deck you wanna go to and you're gonna push it. 10, car, M. And then you wait. You, then you push it again. Car, M. Because there's two of us. Then we uh, wait. Oh, okay. Car, yeah. So then it'll blink. And that's our elevator. It's going to come take us to 10. Our sandwiches, I got the straight up. Andrew then got the pig patty. For the first time, I've never got it before. 
and uh, she has her drink, and I forgot my drink. So, oh, there's water. Grab water. I thought you said you forgot your water bottle. I thought I did too. There's water. We're good. Everyone's fine. Right. To the left. Five, six, seven, eight. We go left in front, left dig, right in front, right dig. One more time. Six, seven, eight. A little bit faster, ha. A little bit faster, ha. Perfect. One, two, three. Yeah, so we have to dance class. A two, a three, a four. We're gonna dance. add the head. It's a very fast. Opposite way to the way we are. So we go that way. So you're aware and pretty and fast. And that way. And that way. Pretty fast. And that way. Because uh, if you moves. was to go the same way. Yeah, could this roll on, roll on the river? Uh, it's Tina Turner. Uh, so we go. Roll on, on the so river, go the down left, the river. To the right, can't remember. To the left. To the right. It's very fast. Yeah, let's very do those eight movements. now. So it's four without the But head. there's a chair option if you guys four want to Four with the head. Ready? Instead. Five, six, okay. seven, eight. Five, oh, one. Five, six, seven, eight. since we talked to you guys. Mm -hmm. So just to kind of recap the day. So we, after lunch, we went and did some more trivia. Yeah. We played the Big Willie trivia. Mm -hmm. And there was some- We had a cheater. Yeah. And they even admitted they were cheating. Yeah. And they still let them win. Yeah, it's weird. I don't understand. That was weird. I, I don't know why they weren't disqualified. Like, it's weird too, because the, the lady who won, she, she was probably a little drunk. I don't know. I don't know her situation, but uh, she tried to like steal the mic from the uh, crew member, and he had to, had to like take the mic back. It was a slight second. It wasn't huge. It wasn't long. So when we were in our last trivia, right before we were gonna go to dinner, they came over the announcement and gave us some really bad news. Now you guys aren't gonna believe this, but they canceled two of our ports again. Yeah. So we're not going to get to go to Mazatlan or Puerto Vallarta. And those were honestly the two ports I was the most excited about. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we still get to go to Cabo, mm -hmm. but we get to, we're only, you know, we're there for almost the exact same amount of time. Yeah. So now we got an additional two sea days. Mm -hmm. And so they said that 
but that the ship is having propulsion issues and so we're not going to be able to get all the way to Puerto Vallarta or Mazatlan so we had to email like our shore excursion that we had at Mazatlan because it was just a locally sourced food tour um, and so they're going to give us our money back so they emailed me back um, I don't know it's just it's, it's just a bummer yes very much so <sighs> yeah so but you know what we're gonna make the best of it mm -hmm. we've got lots of trivias to do we've yeah. got um, lots of things that we can do you know carnival did give us four hundred dollars per stateroom mm -hmm. uh, because of it I know that some people are still pretty angry. a little upset about that um, so we'll see if that changes we'll keep you guys updated but mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're just going to Cabo. So now we kind of need to figure out what we're going to do in Cabo. All right, so what did we do the rest of the evening? So we went to dinner at Gigi's. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. So good. So, so good. Last time we went, it was good. This time it was good. If you like Asian food, I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. It's $18 a person, mm -hmm. and it includes one entree, no, sorry. One appetizer, yeah. one entree, one side, and one dessert per person. Mm -hmm. But it's served family style. Yeah. So it's enough food. Honestly, I would say it's enough food for three big eaters and four small eaters. Yeah. So, But you have to pay a cover charge, so it's $18 to get in. Mm -hmm. But that was delicious. So um, what we ordered was we had the duck, mm -hmm. the chicken spring rolls. Yeah the chili shrimp mm -hmm. the kung pao chicken the haka noodles and the fried rice and then the creme brulee and the crepes yes so i'll put all those pic if you've seen those pictures and then um the menu i'll put it in here too so i mean it was so good it was so good it was really really good and then we went to two comedy shows and we yeah. went to soulbound mm -hmm. it was a carnival production so yeah. it's as to be expected. The the singers were really strong, very, and very strong. the dancers were really good. So and for sure, the best singers. Um, uh huh. I feel like they usually have good dancers, but for sure, the best singers that I've heard on carnival show. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun, and then um, we did the comedy at nine, and mm -hmm. now we're back in the room. Yeah. So we're gonna have an early evening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're probably just gonna watch some TV and relax and go to bed early. And then tomorrow we're gonna wake up and have another sea day. So Which, that was planned. That sea yeah, day that was planned. Yeah, that planned sea day. So tomorrow is gonna be an exciting day. We're gonna have something special for you guys. So make sure you yeah. come back um, and watch that video. Mm -hmm. Something that we haven't ever done before, and we're excited to give it a try. Yeah. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Yes. Please like and subscribe um, if you enjoyed the content, and leave me any comments down below yes, if you have she, any questions. She loves comments, so please. Yeah, apparently leave. I we are professional Miss Port cruisers now. Yeah, two yeah. in a row. Yeah, so one great. on Princess and now one on Carnival. So mm -hmm. I think so far from what we've seen, Carnival is handling it better than Princess. Yes. We were informed of our compensation immediately. Mm -hmm. There was no question, and so. Because people are still gonna get mad. That's not gonna be a thing. Like yeah. people should be upset. They miss out on their on their a portion of the cruise. Right. Because a lot of people have traveled far to get here to do this. So. I met someone who just traveled from Canada. Uh huh. So. Yeah. So you know, and us too, right? But. Yeah. Anyways, we will talk to you guys more tomorrow, and have a wonderful evening. Bye bye.